Okay, so so far we've been looking at creating simple deathmatch maps and you know we've shown you some of the tools there. I just want to break away from that main tutorial for a moment. We'll talk more about what you need to put into maps, etc. very soon. But for some of you, you may actually be sat here watching these tutorials and saying, well that's great, but you know, I want to build a CTF map. Well, you know, it's it's not that different. Most of your map is actually built um, just in a general way and the only difference is there's a couple of extra entities placed in the map um, itself so what I'm gonna do here I've just been drawing the room out and I'll hollow I'll texture it that's in the blocks and then I'll hollow it out and I'll just jump inside there's nothing major going on of course we always need our light so we'll add that in we should always have at least one light so that we can light weapons and, and things like that. As I said, surface light that you can set on brushes. You do use it, but you shouldn't rely entirely on it because you need these light entities to show weapons up and things. Now, the only difference with a CTF map, to be completely honest, is the player start points and an extra entity. That's it. Now, let's say, I mean, this isn't a very long CTF map, but let's say we wanted the red side. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put in an info player red. Now, that means that when anyone joins the red team, they'll spawn on the red space. So let's find that. We've got it over here. And we'll drag it down. Uh, we'll leave it in the middle and we'll drag it back. So this is the red side of the base. And then this will be the blue side. So we'll drag in. We'll escape so that we don't have that selected anymore because if we go and add another info player it will delete the old one so we press escape like this so it's not selected then we'll drop in info player blue on the other side like this and we'll flip that round so they're both looking at each other so you can draw the gun quickest uh, okay now all you need to do then is very, very simply use um, the item here, item, and we'll see flag blue. You place that over in the blue base, and we press escape, and we do the same uh, item flag red, and we'll place that in the red base. Very simple. That is basically your beginning CTF map. Now, obviously, all it is is a box room, and, uh, you know, I, I actually told myself in the last couple of videos I'd stop panning the camera around like a jerk, so I'll just unclick. So, <laughs> you can see, over this side we've got our blue, and over this side we've got our red, and that's all you really need for a CTF map, is to add the item flag red and the info player red, item flag blue and info player blue. That's all you really need. Now, I mean, you couldn't have these set as deathmatch uh, star points for example info player deathmatch or player start you couldn't use them because it wouldn't know what team to put you on and it, the game would be uh, I'd freak out so we need to have uh, red player star points and blue player star points and then a blue and a red flag and that is simply uh, how to go ahead and create a ctf map and then obviously you'll want to build that and save it with the ctf dash extension so we've got ctf hyphen then the name of the map so that people will know it's a ctf map rather than a deathmatch one um i can give you an example very quickly no we won't save changes to that we'll go to our aa maps svn when the thing loads okay then we'll go to arena maps map source and we've got here ctf rampage we've got dm rampage well let's have a look at dm rampage i'll load that up and we'll go around here and you can see that all of these are pink star points right the way throughout the map. We'll go to the other side and they're all pink there as well. Although we've already got it set up for teams, we've got red lights up here. And if we go through this side, we see we've changed it to blue lights. So it's ready. It's already set for deathmatch. Now if we load up our... Um, our CTF version there's a couple of key differences notice in the blue all them player starts have been changed to blue and we've got over here if I shift click that 
so we can see it selected in the top right window we can see it's got text it says item flag blue and then if of course you know we've got all these blue star points info player blue and if we were to go over to the other side you see we've got everything set to red now that's the only difference between a deathmatch map and a ctf map is a couple of different uh, a new two new entities being brought into the map which is the red flag and blue flag and then we're changing the info player deathmatch star points to info player red and blue now don't go and be silly i mean you, i suppose you could do you could put a red spawn point in the blue base but uh, you could put a blue spawn point in the red base but you know it's uh it's best not to you know i wouldn't really play a ctf game where i was spawning in the enemy base because uh you know instantly i'd spawn and bam i'd be dead more than likely the odd time i may be able to grab the flag but chances are you know when you've got a big game going on you're not going to survive very long so yeah that's basically a quick look at ctf maps and we'll get back on now to the main set of the tutorials thanks very much